How does Autodesk help the gaming world? Oh, now I've got your attention as well. Our next guest is Senior Industry Manager with Autodesk Media and Entertainment, Mary Beth Haggerty. Hello, how are you? Hi, good to meet you, Dave. Nice to meet you as well. Glad to have you with us on the program because certainly the gaming industry in general has exploded. It's probably an understatement uh, yes. in, the, in the last several years, especially with more people, I think, than ever, not only interested in video games, but wanting to just really immerse themselves in them. How is it that uh, that Autodesk is involved in that whole end of things? Sure. What we've seen over the past several years is gaming going from the idea of a teenage boy alone in his living room to seniors bowling leagues, to people playing mm -hmm. together in their living room and people all over the world taking games with them as they go. Autodesk is responding to huge demands from our customers as the game industry grows so quickly and satisfies such a bigger demographic. I think that we're going to get to the point very soon where the idea of what a gamer is yeah. is about <laughs> talking about who a radio listener is or a TV watcher. Good we're point. all going to be gamers. Good point. Now, that means, I would imagine, that folks are clamoring for your help at Autodesk to yes. say, we've got to get more interesting games out. We've got to get a variety of, of more things that will challenge people, challenging more people. So how does Autodesk step in and help out there? We help out a lot. We serve creative visionaries as they search on ways to tell greater and bigger stories in games. We talk to creative visionaries all over the world, and they keep on talking about these huge open worlds and these characters that they need to create. Um, for example, if you look at something like EA Mythic's Warhammer, they needed to cr populate 45 square miles of gaming, Wow! which is huge. Yes. And of course, this has huge um, problems for things like believable characters, how they lay out their terrain, making it beautiful and interesting. Yeah. What we were able to do is they worked with 3DS Max and Autodesk KinApps so that they were able to iterate in this open world very quickly and have a huge gaming space to satisfy the gamers out there. Whoa. So, I mean, this, you, I generally don't think of Autodesk as helping gaming companies, but then, of course, they do. It's, if it involves design and creativity, you're yes. there. <laughs> so. And we are lucky. People all over the world who are gamers, who are creative visionaries, use our products. Hmm. And that's great. If you look at something like Rock Band, something that all of people can put together in their living room yep. and play with, you know, mom and the kids and dad, they used our products too. So they there's Autodesk magic behind Rock Band. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Yes, Rock Band too <laughs> used our software as well. Uh, How cool is that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they were able to use 3ds Max. Maya, and Motion Builder for some of the motion capture in the game. Wow. Well, what are you not doing that you're almost ready to help with that might make gaming even more interesting and more immersive for everybody? Yeah, we're really looking at this problem of believable characters. As people push the boundaries of storytelling and open environments, mm -hmm. we're looking at all the ways these creative visionaries can take their art and bring it all the way into the engine. So... We've built a whole middleware division supporting that engine with Autodesk KinApps and Autodesk Human IK. Dynamite. Mary Beth Haggerty, you want to visit autodesk.com slash ME for media and entertainment. Thanks so much for Thank helping you, wrap up today's broadcast oh, with no some worries. very cool <laughs> things.